Right, good morning guys. So, we're going to do something new today. We're going to show you how to install the hydraulic brakes on the Zero 10X. Now, to prepare, right, of course we've got this uh, hydraulic brake caliper. We've got the you know, brake lever with the e-brake uh, wires. This is the, just a rubber cover, right? And this uh, olive. Okay. So uh, installing it on the Zero 10X with this set of nut brakes is extremely easy. We'll show you how easy it is. Right. So first, uh, we're gonna have to remove the original uh, brake components, right? Namely, uh, this red brake caliper, <coughs> and if you go up to the handlebar, you gotta remove this um, brake lever and the brake hose. Okay, the nut brake caliper should just uh, fit in easily with the existing uh, mounting. So you should be able to just use the same washers right, to fit it on. Okay. So these washers here are just for you to adjust the height. Um, if your, you know, brake disc, if, if your disc is of a 140mm, you shouldn't need any additional spaces, right? If you're using a larger brake disc, 160mm, then you might have to add a few washers. It's pretty easy, right? So this brake hose is pre-bleed. Okay, so uh, just want to rotate the tires. Just make sure there's no excessive rubbing sound. Now the brake pads being new, right? They will be uh, touching the this brake a little bit. You'll hear a little bit of a uh, slight rubbing, but that just requires some breaking in. And once you have that breaking in um, period, then the rubbing sound would go away. Right? So just make sure there's no uh, excessive rubbing as you spin the wheel. Okay, so remove the brake line. And you just got to find the uh, slots to line it up. And then remove you know, that stopper <coughs> from the lever. And then you pull the entire brake, brake line out of the tube, out of the hose, right? You just uh, remove the wrapping, but save the wrapping, right? Make sure it's not, um, you know, it's not lost because you'll need it later. Right, so, so the trick here, right? So you see here, right? You have the original brake line and then you have your hydraulic brake hose. Right, so we'll show you what to do. All right, just gonna make sure it's tight. And then you, you force it through. <coughs> now, you know, this string here is really just to, it's a, it's like a thread, right? It's a guide. So once you have you know, the thread on both sides of this uh, vertical pole, right? You can uh, tie it to the brake, hydraulic brake hose and pull the brake hose through the vertical tube too. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, you're just threading it through and that's it, right? You have essentially cabled you know, the hydraulic hose <coughs> right up to the brake lever at the handlebar. So remove the inner grip and then you know, remove this brake lever. Okay, so the original 
see the original uh, brick lever had uh, a two wire brick sensor like this is for the electronic braking so this e-braking uh, wires right have to be cut and joined up to the hydraulic brake levers so we put the rubber this rubber cover through the tube to the hose fit the brake levers in Okay, so we have to drive this uh, needle head into the hose, into the new hose, right? So what you see, this is the new insertion, right? Hydraulic hose. Be careful the oil. Okay. So we pre fill the oil, the mineral oil, in this uh, reservoir. Not to prank. And we can, we can just screw in, just tightening this nut here. It's on number eight. Right. You, don't need to, you, you don't need to tighten it all the way, but just make sure that it's uh, hand tight. So these are the little tricks that um, you do <coughs> you have to install the hydraulic brakes. Right, so now it's uh, totally enclosed. Okay, it's all good. You slide in the lever. Okay, to check if um, everything is working well, you press the brake make sure it doesn't go past the halfway point so you see as you press it right it doesn't go all the way in right it, it stays somewhere uh, at the top or it, to the halfway point right and uh, give the tire a spin right you spin the tires can you spin the tires for me right make sure no, just make sure no, it's, uh, no yeah make sure rubbing. there's no friction or rubbing against the brake disc against the brake pads Okay, so uh, so the oil is good, right? We just have to join up the two wires here. Okay, so there you go, all right? You get one black and one white wire. The black joins to the black, the white joins to the yellow, all right? So that's it. You can do a um, you can do a solder, a direct solder, right? Or, or you can um, insert a plug, but you know. It would have to be a waterproof plug because they're outside so it's better to just do a direct solder and then uh, put a you know, heat strength over them all right so prepare for solder just plate it with some solder Okay, and just seal it up. And you're done. Okay. All right. The end. So, we'll put the red back. so how you know <coughs> it's all sorted up, right? Turn it on. Wait, that's the key. Ah, okay, I need the key. All right. Okay. Turn it on. Okay, everything works. There's no error. Dial it up. Okay. Turn on the lights. Not you. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, yeah, got it. Turn on the lights. Okay. Don't, don't talk to me. Nope. Okay, you see when you press on the brakes, when you press on the hydraulic brakes on each side, the flashes, that's when you know the e-brake is uh, is properly done. Right? So try the front brakes. It flashes on the back side too. Okay, there you go. So that's how you install the hydraulic brakes onto the 010X. Right, this procedure will take you about an hour. Uh, it should be fairly simple like, if you follow the instructions above. Alright, so thank you for watching.